The situation is not looking good in the northeastern state of Manipur. Conflict is still on and uh, we are getting uh, reports of a fresh spate of violence that has been reported from Manipur. Uh, we are told that a mob of 400 stormed a police station in Manipur's Churchandpur, which is the border area. And this is where basically uh, the, the violent uh, uh, spate of violence had uh, started the first time last year as well. We are also hearing of one casualty in this attack. Uh, these are visuals that are coming in from Churchandpur and uh, several buses and trucks that were used by security forces were vandalized and burnt by the agitators. So there was a mob attack at a police station. This is reflective that the situation in Manipur has not greatly improved. Uh, there are tensions on the ground as well, not just in Churchandpur but other areas of Manipur as well. While parts, most parts remain under control, but you can see with an attack on a police station uh, the situation is not looking good for the northeastern state. We hope the administration can bring it to peace and how the state was earlier. Indrajit Kundu is joining me for the latest on that. Uh, Indrajit, what exactly happened? Uh, there was a mob attack at a police station. Uh, this clearly shows that uh, not everything has improved in the state right now. Well, that's right. You know, uh, uh, a mob of around 400 people uh, attacked the police station is what we are told yesterday and uh, uh, there was an attempt to storm the uh, office of the superintendent of uh, Sura Chanpur. And this of course uh, is a repercussion uh, because uh, uh, through the police action on one of the policemen who has been uh, uh, suspended uh, over a photograph that he took with, uh, with one of the locals. And uh, a departmental inquiry has been uh, has been started against that police officer. Uh, and then, uh, as, as a repercussion to this incident, uh, a huge mob uh, targeted the police station in Shwachanpur and then tried to storm the uh, office of the superintendent of police. Uh, a massive force was sent to the uh, area to bring the situation in control. And now, uh, internet services have also been suspended for the next five days in Shwachanpur. Remember. This is the very epicenter from where uh, nine months back uh, the entire ethnic uh, conflict and the violence began. And Surachanpur since then has remained uh, the epicenter of this entire uh, ethnic conflict. And therefore, uh, the administration won't like to take any chances. And uh, high officials have been sent, along with a large number of police forces in the area to bring the situation in control. And as I said, internet services have been immediately uh, slammed for the next five days. Thank you so much for now. And Rajiv, keep tracking what's unfolding in the state of Manipur as well. These are more visuals coming in that uh, we are looking at. Uh, this is Churchanpur, which is, remember, the border, uh, border uh, area in, uh, in Manipur. And this is where the tensions have prevailed. Now, there has been largely an ethnic conflict between uh, the, the Kukis and uh, the Metes. But this has gone beyond that. Remember, there are issues of infiltration of drug abuse and a lot of other issues that have come to the surface as well. Hill and valley issues have also been embroiled for the state of Manipur. But now with a mob, at least what we can see from the numbers look like, according to our information, were about a 400. You're looking at the cops inside who were facing this uh, storming of the SP office in Manipur.